Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at three new things that are added to Laravel version from 10.7 to 10.9. And I'd like to thank Cloudways for sponsoring this video and I'll be talking about them a little bit later. And don't forget to watch till the end because you'll be getting one month free. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this pipe function to the process layer. Let me show you that. Previously, we could do this. We had this process facade and we could just run this ls-la this is a command and if i just run it then we'll get all the things that are present on the current project working directory so let me just zoom out a little bit and add it over here and let me also show you here ls minus la and you can see here all the things that we see here we'll see here okay the same thing now let's say we only want to see this okay let me show you this composer okay so here i'll say ls dash la and i'll say grip and i'll say composer like this and you can see here i am only seeing the composer we cannot do that before but now we can do it so this thing has been added you can see here like this function we can pass a closer over here and we can pass this there is a pipe method and we can do here ls dash la and if we write another command over here then it will actually do it like this so now if i run it then we'll only see this composer.json and composer.lock now let us look at the second thing which is this syntax sugar for this process pipe method so the same thing but now instead of doing like this we can do it like this just pass an array and then it is much more cleaner and easy to use so if i run it then we'll get the same results now let us look at the third thing which is very easy thing so here whenever we were doing the migration creating the migration and creating a foreign key constraint then we couldn't give the name for the index previously we could but using the new syntax we couldn't like this foreign id for or foreign id when we used those methods we couldn't give the name to the index now we can do that using this constraint function we can write null null in the first and second parameter and in the third parameter we can write the name of the foreign key index and the fourth and the final thing that has been added is this new assert functions the convenient functions so that we don't have to compare with the actual numbers so this assert gone is 410 status code assert internal server error is 500 status code and assert service unavailable is 503 status code and now i would like you to introduce to this video sponsor which is cloudways cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles cloudways will take care of the server setup for you and you can go live in minutes using the cloudways you can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server and it will last you almost a month which means that you are getting one month free so thank you for watching have a great day bye